I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Here with the big man himself, Mark Dickinson. Mark, follow you on Instagram, man. I've seen all your, your training videos. Seems like you're working hard from March 18th. How are you finding? How are you feeling? Feeling good, you know. Um, I cannot wait for March 18th. Um, it's good that match room's coming to uh, coming to Newcastle. And, uh, we're going to show what the North East talent's producing. And um, nah, it's good to get uh, 2023 on the road, man. That's it. It's uh, Ben Ridings as well. Tough opponent. Is it still Ben Ridings? I don't know if any change. Still Ben Ridings, okay. Tough guy. He's been in there with Callum Simpson. He's been in there with Thomas Whitaker Hart. He's been in there with the top, top boys domestically. It's only your fifth professional fight, I believe. Fifth or fourth professional fight. Great, great fight to see where you're at so early on in your career. Yeah, obviously my first eight round fight as well. Um, I'm not really wanting to fight loads of journeymen and that. I've been boxing at the high level like all my life. Um, and we're going to get in there with live opponents and uh, test myself and um, it's the only way I'm going to get better and progress through the uh, ranks. Ben's a tough lad. I expect him to come and um, put up a fight and um, we'll show him what I'm all about on March 18th. You're, you, you, you can whack. From what I'm hearing from Jims and Ben and all the rest of them, you can you can pack a punch. Now, when you're fighting these journeymen, it's always that typical turtle up. If they, if they feel your power, they'll turtle up and survive because they've got a fight next week. So they don't want to get knocked out or stopped. Ben Ridings, he's going to come with the same ambitions as you. He's coming to win. He's going to open, like, throw some punches. So that's going to leave gaps. When opponents come and share the same ambition, is that when we're going to see the best Mark Dickinson? To be honest, I think he's definitely going to see the best Mark Dickinson so far next time out. Um, there's been, obviously, a change in my camp. I'm back at Berkeley Boxing now, where I started my boxing. Um, obviously, I've been pro with Ben uh, for my pro fights and um, big thanks to Ben, he's helped me inside and outside the ring, there's no bad blood there and that, but I just feel like I um, didn't have a good performance last time out, it didn't really feel like it was working for me. And um, so I've went back to Berkeley, started back at scratch and um, back to my, back, a little bit back to my old ways and um, you're going to see some, people's going to see the skill that my, I can produce next time out as well, so um, if he wants to come and stand in trade then he's going to have a film made of him. That's what I'm saying, it's, 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 it's going to be a good fight, it's uh, the next gen show, so it's all the young guns coming coming through that Eddie Hearn signed. Um, just touching Ben Davis, I, I spoke a little bit off camera asking if you were still with Ben because I noticed on your Instagram you were training, is it your brother you're training with, a lot of pad work with? Yeah, I do my pads with, um, with my brother Jacob, yeah, but my head coach Graham Rutherford from Berkeley, he's, yeah. he's the main man. Right, okay, well, that's what I'm saying, I've just noticed on your Instagram there wasn't much going on down in, down in Essex anymore, so there's no bad blood between, oh, no. between you and Ben, you just thought that you needed a little change in your career? Yeah, yeah, there was no, there's no bad blood there, um, I just spoke to him the other day, he's, uh, he's sound, you know what I mean? Um, I just felt like, i just done what's best for me. To be honest with you, that's all it was. Obviously, like, listen, Ben's a good coach. You can see the results he gets. You know, I mean, Ben's a good coach, but I just just do what's best for me, and I felt like it was best for me to come back and train at Burley. Obviously, you mentioned it. Eddie Hearn's back in the northeast, March 18th. You've got Pat McCormick there. You've got some of the the northeast's rising stars now. Eddie's probably looking for that next superstar, that next pound for pound star to be. Can it come from the northeast? Can it be a joint pound for pound star between you and Pat McCormick? I mean, you're both young, up and coming talent, both great amateur careers exciting styles as well you both come to fight which is good for the fans are you the next superstar coming out the North East listen I've got all the ambitions to be the next superstar and um, but I'm not going to get too carried away from myself I'm going into my first eight rounder and um, we'll take a fight at a time and um, slowly we'll get to where we need to be but I'm pretty sure a few few of these eight rounders in the bank and then we'll be going for some sort of title like the end of the year or beginning of next year it's only your fifth fight and you're talking about an eight rounder already so are you wanting fast track? We've seen elite amateurs, Olympic elite amateurs, get fast track, jump into ten rounders on their pro debut. Obviously, you're not, you've not done that. But your first eight rounder, are you looking to be pushed a little bit quicker and faster than most? Um, I'll be pushed as fast as the uh, as the, as the one to push me. Um, I know what I can do. Um, I'm training hard in the gym. I'm, I'm sparring 15 rounds in that. If I can't fight eight rounds on fight night, there's something going wrong. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, no, look, I'm just looking forward to it getting March 18th out of the way and then we'll go from there. One final one then, Ben Ryan's like we said, he's a tough opponent, he's, he's game, he comes to fight, he swings and uh, like I said, I think he's only been stopped once and I think that was Cam Simpson who's 
he's got a good record on himself, yeah. undefeated fight as well. So, what kind of performance are we hoping for from yourself? Is it going to be that big, explosive knockout to excite the fans? It's going to be um, a mixture between a lot of different styles. You know, I can change it up now anytime, and um, I can't wait to show the difference from my last fight to this fight. And I'm just looking forward to it. To be honest with you, there's going to be a big difference, and um, yeah, he's going to be shocked. I was going to say that was my last question, but we're here in the Newcastle for a reason. We're here because Lewis Ritson's fighting O'Hara Davis, so I'm going to get your thoughts on that. It would be remiss of me not to get the, your, your opinion. Obviously, Lewis Ritson's flown that North East flag for so long now on his own. It's good that you and Pat McCormick and a couple of young guns are coming through to hopefully take some load off his back, but he's got a tough opponent in O'Hara Davis in a final eliminator for that WBA world title in a tough super lightweight division. Ritson versus O'Hara Davis, Mark. Tell me about it. What's going on? Um, I think, to be honest with you, I haven't really seen a lot of O'Hara in the last few years. I haven't really, I haven't really seen much of him, but I know he, he can punch and that. Ritson's a tough lad, he can grind him down. Um, but I'm back in the North East lad all the way, like, let's go Lewis Ritson. I wouldn't think any other, I wouldn't think otherwise there. But Mark, listen, good to speak to you again. I'll see you in a couple of weeks uh, for the next gen show in Edhern. But as always, thank you so much, man. Thank you much. Cheers, Mark. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.